right. It's another episode of the Jared Show. We're here live. Where we're live. You're not listening to this live. <laughs> we're here at the new Jared Show Studios. Welcome to the show, Frank Moody. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? And uh, in from out of town, my cousin Jeremy Suarez sits in to my right. Hello, How sir. How you doing, Tampa? Good to home. Nice. Come here. So, uh, we're going to pipe this music down just a little bit, and uh, we're going to talk about some, some things really quick. Some, some really quick things. Jeremy, you are... Playing the shit out of WoW, World of Warcraft, right? Uh, not too much. That's not true. You've been sitting here playing World of Warcraft this whole night. I'm not doing night. anything, though. <laughs> I'm gathering, I'm just, it's a, it takes a time to uh, gather a crystal, so like, where you just sit on it, whenever I'm hanging out, and I'm building resumes, or maybe <laughs> Ouch. Taking, taking time and multitasking, you know? Enjoying a little bit of a tune. And like the Pope, what about the Poke Stop? What if I was playing? <laughs> we're, we're on a podcast. Why are you whispering? Speak up. Speak up. Take the people that play Poke Stop, for example. Poke uh, Stop, what is that? Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh, okay. Poke Stop, Poke Go. Who okay, gotcha. Pokemon Go, not Pokemon Stop. <laughs> I love Pokemon, too. Pokemon but, uh, Stop and Go, which is the <laughs> next version of Pokemon. I think the Pokemon only Pokemon Stop play and Go is one of the most badass games, World of Warcraft. So you Major. you still play World of Warcraft after all these years? Tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about like your uh, character, right? That's what it is. You have a character on on a server. Mm-hmm. I know a little bit about how these things work. Yeah, it's um, I play yeah, a mage. Mean. My main character is a fire mage. He's a. Uh, He's pretty sharp. He's got... <laughs> I spin fire too, you know, so it kind of makes sense to be able to play with both of both uh, fire and turbo. <laughs> you gotta, you're not arguing your case very well. It's, oh. a, it's a game that I enjoy playing, and my family plays it too. So it's a nice way for me to connect. So. Yeah, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's fun. It's a social thing. I mean, people have been playing it for years. There's all kinds of celebrities that play. I just not, I never got into any of that. Not, yeah. not me. I would have never watched Game of Thrones ever because I, I, I see I don't watch TV shows. I none of that. So, I'm so just like I'm so against computer, like a, that. I'm against, I'm so against like a family or like a fantasy kind of show. Not a family show. I like family shows, but fantasy shows or like movies or anything like fantasy with like dragons and witches and. I mean, you know, spells and shit like that. I don't. I'm never really. Certain people gotta get. You got. It's just not. You gotta be into that kind of shit. Because I mean, technically, it's all fairy tale shit. None of it's real. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're all movies and. Uh, manipulation of elements is a real thing, and there's gurus that exist that have lit things on fire with their hands and their mind, and floated. F- flight is a, a possibility. And, Supernatural abilities exist. Are we still talking about? Why does why does the term <laughs> they floated? Why does that sound like it's wrong? Like it should be they flew or something they, like that. That doesn't sound correct. I agree. That it sounds came like out the, completely uh, wrong. It sounds weird. It's like a past tense. Man, I'm looking at this trippy ass screensaver, <laughs> and I think I'm tripping <laughs> out right now, bro. I think it's having some sort of visual hallucination <laughs> effect where my body thinks that I'm tripping out. Dude, that was he, a funny term. Bro. He's got his computer. Uh, Jeremy has, has his floating. computer tablet thing going on, and for some reason it just stopped. Maybe it heard me. Okay, so, to, so tell us a little bit about uh, what's been going on with you, Frank. Uh, just working. You haven't staying been staying busy. W- well, I mean, w- last time we were on the show, we were talking about flat Earth theory. Did you know. ever get into? Uh, that with your brother? Do you talk? Does he talk about that all the time still? Or? No, he doesn't. He never really talked about it all the time. It's just when he brought it up, it was always a discussion because he, he uh, thinks the Earth is flat. That's that's okay. So, I think that's I mean, it's always a discussion. That thing is really distracting. <laughs> that's, like that thing is like again, like can I ask you to turn it off? 
you know, without being in with a because it's like <laughs> there's so much fucking shit going on right now yeah. in front of my face, dude. Wow. Like I don't even want to do a podcast right now. I'm just like I just want to. <laughs> Stay no, the still just going for that. Can, is there any way you can turn it into like a black screen or something? Close it. <laughs> really? Mm. Oh, to or, just, the or just point it. That is but... point it towards you. Alright. Like kind of just like look at it instead of having it like a TV because it's really distracting. I sound like such a fucking diva, bro. Excuse hey, me, but that screen <laughs> is just too distracting. Please remove it from my sight immediately. <laughs> Taste is taste. <laughs> so we were listening to some cool music before we started. Uh, Jeremy, what was that that UK group that we heard in the background for a little bit? What, what were they called? That was an artist named Little Sims. She's an uh, African American woman that's grown up in the UK, and very inquisitive in the way that she speaks and travels thought along the line. And then her buddy Josh Ark is. Uh, uh, Japanese maybe or uh, Asian of one country uh, rapper that as well grew up in the UK. And what was their name? Little Sims and Josh Ark. Little Sims and Josh Ark. Okay, and then yeah, we were listening to Ant Word. The Ant Word was yeah. the other band from uh, from South Africa. South Africa. We would play that, but we kind of wanted to have man. this. See if we can get this thing on YouTube tonight. That would be nice if we could publish it to YouTube. And if we play a song, like, in the background, and we're not talking about the song, it could easily get pulled down. So, we're not going to do that right now. Yeah. Never mind. Well, we could do, like, songs that we can, like, I don't know, certain songs we can, like, tear, like break down and tear apart. And yeah. See how much sense they make and how much sense they don't make. Editing skills. Master Primo. Yeah, what, his cousin, by what the way. was the, what was his first lines? It was like "Ting Tang Ho Ho Ding I don't know. <laughs> Are you guys on a podcast right now? Because <laughs> you're not yeah. being. I mean, it's like you you're, be, you're trying to be quiet. I mean, okay, okay. This room is away from everybody else. Okay, nobody can really hear anything outside of here. Usually, when you're inside of a house. Just you're gonna, you, you projecting wanna, my voice so loud. To you want to talk at a lower, right yeah. You, you want to talk at a lower voice when one. you're in somebody's house, right? This is not the case here. Okay, there's nothing around here, so you do want to kind of keep your voice up, and like every once in a while, you can see that little bar there moving on the screen. If you uh, keep that in the yellow, and not in the lower part of the green, we're good. All right. Because right now. Speak up in a little bit more direct. Yeah, just a little bit more. Project your voice towards the mic. And, you know, because we're trying a new thing here, guys. This is a new studio. Any listeners? Anybody? I'm sorry that you're listening to this, but thank you. We're getting this shit right. Thank you for listening. Come correct. But this is why this sounds like this and why you keep getting your ears blown out. Especially <laughs> in the beginning, you're like, holy shit, this is too loud. And then you turn it up to hear to to hear somebody else, and then I come back in, and it's really loud. So, on the job training—that's what this is called right now. So we're, we're learning how to do podcasts while we're doing a podcast. Teamwork. So, what do you got to talk about, Frank? Um, right now, I don't know. Well, I mean, well, we, oh, um, what was the thing I sent you? I sent you something. Oh, to send this to a certain amount of people. That's what it was. Oh, chain letters. Yeah, the chain letter thing. Yeah. Well, you sent me something like, if you share this with 12 people, then Microsoft will give oh, yeah, you 2,000 and... 2,636, it was a very specific number. Like a network, was like, networking scheme type shit. It was like a. It was like one of those chain letters uh, that, that you got when you were in 7th grade. It said, <laughs> copy this and send it to 13 people, and then you'll find the person that you love tomorrow. If you don't, nobody will ever love you ever again. 
Oh no. <laughs> so, Jeremy, you are the chief executive officer of Sacred Leaf Marijuana De- uh, Medical Mar- sorry, Medical Marijuana Delivery Service uh, out of San Diego, California. If you go to sacredleaf.net, uh, you can see all the stuff that's on on, on S- Sacred Leaf. Tell us a little bit about Sacred Leaf and how uh, things work. Yeah, I don't know much about uh, marijuana. Yeah, like inform, I've heard, inform me. I know it's legal now in Florida for medical marijuana, um, but in San Diego it's recreational, correct? But yet it's not going to be an active uh, till January of 2018 at least. Now they're looking more of like. June of next year. Are they? Do they like? Um, do they? Are they uh, pushing it back? Because I know when President uh, Trump got elected, they passed recreational marijuana for uh, California. So are they pushing it back to pass? Because I heard it was going to be sometime around January two thousand seventeen. Then they push. I heard they push it back to like June. I don't. It wouldn't I mean, have been seventeen because it takes six months to adopt and imply a new. For structure of laws and tax for the regulated regulations of the individual counties and the state. That's who the only people that get paid. There's not a federal tax on this because it's the paperwork to run a co-op is pretty loose, you know, until they until they actually come in and, and decide to regulate it at a federal level. Um, as far as what we do, we are legally allowed and prescribed as caregivers and uh, holistic doctors and uh, cultivators of marijuana in all its forms. I can make oils and extracts. Um, all like like cookies edibles. and stuff like that, too? Mm-hmm. It's, that's pretty cool, man. They source everything, you know, and you pay your tax out the door, but right now we're sitting at about 11, expected to run to uh, at least mid-20s whenever it comes recreational use to. Now, where you're running this business, is it is there a lot of people out there, like, doing this kind of stuff out there? Is there, are there a lot of biz, Is there a lot of competition, you know? Um, yes and no, but the community that it's become is more of, like, we help each other out. We t- try and work and come up with new ways to come to the table rather than uh, so that we all can help each other out. You know, oh, he has this, he has this. And then I just, suddenly we're all doing better. And as far as delivery, I mean, we put yeah. ourselves out there and, and people decide what they see or maybe they're looking for something specific that if one place doesn't have that we do or vice versa, you know. So, uh, you know, it kind of shifts, but... We're, on average, you can off, you could jump from twenty to forty deliveries a day. Uh, yeah, I was just patience. I was just wondering. It just like need. It 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 seems like you know you're you're, you're like a legal drug dealer kind of. Cannabis is a plant, just the same as my tomatoes are, or my mushrooms that grow, or the way that my turmeric can be cut up and used as a medicine. For me, or say a teeth whitener, a coconut oil and turmeric is a natural teeth whitener. It's yeah, I know, but they're not scheduled month. scheduled drugs, you know, federally scheduled. I don't think they can. Narcotic should be that, drugs. So. I don't believe that it should be either. I don't think you know that something like like marijuana should be a scheduled drug. But we respect the lines that we have to live in at the moment, and you know, we do what we can to keep it in the proper hands, rather than being tainted by. People who tried to taint things like the fact that turmeric and coconut oil is a well-known sex. Uh, um, well, that's because no, ain't nobody got time for that. Substitute. Man. <laughs> they got they got crushed white men strips of Target. You know what I mean? Bro. Yeah, but sure. But you got to <laughs> Google now too at your fingertips. You could ask, say, hey. Give me an organic, natural, homemade teeth whitener. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah, say, easily do that. Me. You can easily do that. Yeah, but coconut oil, obviously, there's such thing as oil pullings where you you can put oil into your mouth and you know and just like roll it around in there and it pulls out it pulls out toxins. Yeah, and cavities too if you got them, but then it can also pull out fillings. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's it's, it's crazy. And you gotta mix it right, turmeric, coconut oil. Right. That's that's where we got <laughs> off of. Fucking weed. Mixing it with cannabis too. Here soon we got cannabis honey. Now we're cultivating bees and cannabis. Yeah. So too. tell us some of this. Like people, if you guys want to check this cool. out, you can go to. I think s- I saw a video on that. Sacredleaf dot <laughs> net, and you can uh, check out. I, I I believe you showed me a couple of things <coughs> on there. 
What are some of the cooler things that you've uh, sold since you've been in business? Like, like some, like, because uh, I've always heard, like, you know, these crazy gummies and, you know, banana breads and popcorns and pickles and all kinds of different stuff that you oh. can do, do out there. Mm. Like cotton candy. How do you get mm. weed into cotton candy? That's a... Uh, sugar crystals, maybe, mix them up. Isn't there a limit on how much each person gets? They can't just get, like, 50 pounds, just, you know. Yeah, you can, um, your, the medical card that you can even get without an, with an out-of-state ID allows you to carry, like, six pounds on you. Yeah, six pounds. Wait, that's uh, a good on question. On your person or that's at a good, your house? Wait, Transport. that's a good question. But and you could grow up to, you wait, could grow up to six pounds. Okay, okay, wait, that was They're a good question, but feet. how do you make... Weed, cotton candy. How do they get? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. How do they do that? They, I'm assuming you can uh, make the sugar that is spun into the cotton, and at some point extract the two together. You know what I mean? Maybe let it sit and and soak in the sugar for a long time, and the sugar will bind to the cannabis, and then by the time it's flown out, maybe. Maybe, Maybe so. Sugar, is there know. any kind of like crystal, crystal, uh, crystalline, 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 like marijuana, like where you can extract like just the good stuff from the marijuana and. Because cotton candy is like that crystallized sugar. Yeah, so maybe you machine. can mix it. Well, see, then I think the problem is there is it that when you heat like it up. Sugar. Because, okay, cotton candy is basically just like the special kind of sugar that when you heat it up, it like gets really stringy and there's like a. Uh, there's like a fan on a heating element, so when they pour the the sugar in there, it instantly melts, and then it starts blowing over, like, because the hot air is moving around in there, and then you just spin your little stick around. But if you put the, the THC crystals in there, I don't know, I don't think it if would it spin. Does the same thing. I don't think it would spin the same way as cotton candy. So that's, do they even make weed cotton candy? I'm probably just making that up. They probably don't have cotton candy weed. Maybe not. Maybe it's just I weed that they call just, cotton yeah, the, candy. The strand. Its name it's is cotton candy. It's holy <laughs> okay. shit. Check I gotcha. <laughs> Look, I'm not one of these weed smoking people, okay? I live here in Florida. Now, you are, you, you, know, you know, you got this whole thing going on in, in, in the 619 in the San Diego area. <laughs> Yes. In the six one nine. Yeah, we had to bring our. Uh, it was an artistic approach and act from activism that stemmed from here in Tampa with Bees Against Monsanto, and uh, a few other projects that we had going on. Um, Food not bombs that was organized and has been running strong here for the last few years. That was all organized by us. And um, okay, so you're one of those hippie guys. Uh, when did you become? Step. When did you become? I'm one the, of the hippies. Yeah, one of those hippie I'm, kind of people. I'm also the. Was it when you did acid? Did you? You've done acid, right? Aren't you one of the ones that strive so for the personal the freedom first... of enlightenment through a sacred lifestyle while being able to provide and enjoy a healthy respect for the powers of nature? Chris. Would you say that's a fair question? <laughs> <laughs> so this is your statement here. That's pretty dope. Back. Yeah, that's what I just read. We strive. For the personal freedom of enlightenment through a sacred lifestyle while being able to provide and enjoy a healthy respect for the powers of nature. Okay, so that means that, uh, you know, somebody wrote that for you, right? <laughs> no, you wrote that? Yep. Okay. Me and uh, Chris and I wrote it. Uh, the man who designed the logo. Well, the logo is neat. If you go to sacredleaf.net, you can see this weird, uh, like, Celtic pot leaf. It's just like a pot leaf, I guess. Mm -hmm. There's no getting around it. It's it's definitely, definitely yeah, weed. It's pretty cool. But I mean, it's it's pretty neat because it turns it into like a, a Celtic knot kind of looks thing. like it's kind of part of the Illuminati. Yeah. So <laughs> we represent. You know, we had to we had to find a way to be able to maintain and uh, uh, keep in the right hands, not let. Uh, industrialism taint what isn't there to taint you know the same as opiates have become and they almost banned kratom last year and and how that was a quick turnaround and everyone's like no don't do it because you know it's helping all these people why would you do that hey look they do have medical cannabis cotton candy here yeah see i think i told you I've, i'm pretty sure i've seen that before but see how would they do that 
Ooh, yeah, see, just... that's less distracting. Yeah, that's way less distracting when you just have one picture up there. Well, let me get that. Showing it. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can look up medical can candy care cotton candy with a K. Dude, medical cannabis. Yeah, they probably. Ooh, but no, you can't because it immediately melts, bro. Ooh. If you if you spray any kind of liquid, if you spray any kind of liquid on a cotton candy, it instantly starts melting. And turns into like a hard candy oh, shell because it dries. What about an oil? You you've bitten into cotton candy. Put it back in the bag. Well, what about an oil? And then take it home. Oil on it. Yeah, well, it's sticky. It's still the same thing. Mm. I would think. I don't know. We need some. We'll find out how to make it. Cotton candy weed. <laughs> That's what this show is. This one. This episode's called Cotton Candy Weed. Everybody. That's the name of this show. With a K. With a K. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> King. So uh I got uh I got Google Music. The uh subscription to Google Music. You have a, a Samsung phone, right? Everybody's got Samsung phones. So you have like Google Music on your on your phone, right? And then you can buy this thing where you, it's like a subscribe to it and you get access to every song. Every Every song that's in the store, you can listen to it for free, and download it. It's basically yours, just like just like any of the other songs. Oh, no, what's it called? The artists are getting paid for Google that. Music. It's already on Google? all oh. Google phones. It's already on there. Oh yeah, I use it to, to upload music and play it from the phone too. It's the I think it's the default device for playing your own uploaded music. Oh yeah, it's like an iTunes for PC. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Because it used to be, like, what, Windows Media Player? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Windows Media. I use uh, Winamp. That's one of those crazy visualizations we're coming from earlier. So today is June 10th. Um, Adam West died today at 88 years old. Oh, I didn't know that. Who is that? Adam West was the original Batman. There you go. Yeah. He was the original Batman. That's why. Okay. Sad I'm telling you, I'm horrible with names, man. Even crazier, Frank so Moody, crazy. our high school football coach, died. Oh, yeah. Billy Turner. Coach Billy Turner, he was legendary in this area. There's. I used know. to record the video games. Oh, yeah? Or the football video games. <laughs> I was, uh... You and the World, world Crap. Yeah. I was, uh... uh the football games. I was a, a chest painter. Which was, which I was remember me that. and ten other guys would take our shirts off and paint our chest. Go ch- chase. Yeah, I remember that. And, yeah, um, my older brother, uh, flat Earth theory guy, was on the the football team. Yeah, he was. He played football, right? Yeah. yeah. He played for. So he played for Coach Turner then. Yeah, they went to so state that year. They yeah. got defeated by Naples. Yep, that was uh, our f- freshman year. His senior year. Um, I think it was junior. It was junior year. Yeah, he's two years above us. Okay. He's 03. So yeah. I want to say it was his junior It might have been his senior year. Our, our sophomore year. One or the other. Yep. High school. That's always sad when you're, you know, people from high school start dying. Your teachers. Your coaches. Anybody, you, I think. Yeah. Pretty. Well, I mean, you know, there's always like that one kid in class that you're like, that guy's going to fucking kill himself. <laughs> that guy's crazy, bro. He's gonna fucking probably, you know, do a bunch of drugs and fucking kill himself. You know how how crazy people were in in school. In high, well, yeah, that were just coming to school. Ohio, opiates really bad up there in pills. Yeah, just like coming in all fucked up, coming in from to school like so fucked up on drugs. I mean, I, I went to school drunk. My senior dude, year. Imagine doing heroin all the I time just smoke. every day. Just saying, dude. I don't, I don't understand. No, I, I, yeah, I don't I think do. I've ever just sat there and go, man, I'm, I'm going to sit here and imagine <laughs> what it's like to do heroin. Like ever, that. dude. I mean, I've, done, I've, I've been like prescribed that. pills, uh, and I was prescribed pills at a you know pretty terrible age to be nice. correct. Like 19. Like, oh, you broke your leg. Here's a bottle full of, of fucking Vicodin. And I was like, what? I know what those are. <laughs> yeah, thank you. 
So, yeah, I just fucking just ate the crap out of those because they were delicious. And, you know, I, I can guarantee you that heroin is better. <laughs> so yeah. I will never, ever, ever do that shit. No, that's scary stuff, man. Stuff that's so fucking awesome, you want to fucking steal everything from your mom's house for it? Jeez. That's pretty bad. What's the Mr. Brownstone, they call it? Right. I mean, I, I don't know if heroin... I mean, heroin... Addicts probably just, you know, are looking, looking, well, yeah. Balls low. And like any other addict. Yeah, I guess. That's what I'm saying. They're pretty much, pretty much all the same. you see it a bunch, it's just another day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Well, I mean, meth is bad, you know, that, that'll make you, crack is bad. I I guess you can get bad on coke, too, and I'm bad on, I've just never seen anybody, like, smoking weed and, you know, like, steal, maybe, maybe, like, some teenage kid would steal from, like, his mom or something to go buy some weed, possibly, but, you know, I can't see, like, a grown man going and pawning his daughter's (laughs) computer to go fucking buy some weed, that's pretty, (laughs) that's... Yeah, no, I think you could definitely oh, find shit. some That's some shit funny. before that. That's like funny. a bottle of beer. Get a big old bottle of beer and just drink it down. Probably be more fucked up than you could ever be on weed. 40s. <laughs> yeah, bro, 40s. 32s, man. 40s They're 32s. Those here. Guys, the 32s here. <laughs> Oh, B's crazy, man. San Diego. Yeah, we only have 32s here. We don't have 40s in Florida. Yeah. Because, you know, 8 more. Do they have 40s out you can they buy have in California, right? Yeah. You, you can buy two 32s all day. Yeah. You can buy, buy two 24 packs but, cold. <laughs> but to buy 40 ounces at once <laughs> in one container, yeah. that's too bitch. much. No, yeah. That's overboard, guys. It's yeah. a lot of beer, man. I, I switched to tequila and I barely, I maybe had. 10 beers in the last six months. Feels good. I'm not a beer drinker. You know, it seems weird that you're like, that you think about that and you're like, why, why they, why would they regulate the ounce in the bottle? How much, that's, that seems ridiculous, but then you're like, oh, well, when, you know, Four Loco came out, they fucked with Four Loco really hard because it was getting people really fucking drunk. Just like 40s got people really fucking drunk. So they're like, ah, you know, we're not having that shit. People are too drunk on your stuff. <laughs> yeah, they, they, I mean, it's cheap. Yeah. Two forties are like, you know what, like three or four bucks back back in the day. You know, back in the day <laughs> in like the early nineties, right after the Rodney King riot, we were drinking forties and all that shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude, dude, dude. stealing alcohol sometimes. We that. robbed a, a liquor store. That's funny. And a music store and a furniture store in the 1993 Rodney King riots. Right. I know. Times were hard. I was six. Rough day. <laughs> no, seven. I was seven years old. No, I was six. Yeah, I was six. I would have been seven in, you know, two months later after the riots. So I would have definitely stole some Pampers. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Pampers and six? I mean, that's... A little excessive. Well, this show's been going, you know, about 30 minutes now. We're about, you know, 15 and a half minutes left on the computer cutoff time. This show's brought to you by Spreaker because that's what you're listening to this on. (laughs) 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 And Spreaker, goddammit, they conned me out of, what, $14 already? I'm about to get smashed again for another <laughs> whopping seven dollars. Let's make some loot. So, it's any sponsors out there, out contact there. me, Jared at JaredShow.com. And go to JaredShow.com to listen to all the podcasts that I do. You know, because there's so many of them now. I've got a couple of good podcasts coming up in the works. You want to check out that? Follow me on Twitter at Jared Show. Frank at Real Frank Moody on Twitter. And uh, what is does the uh, the Sacred Leaf have a, a Twitter account? Are you into the social media? I mean, it's Facebook, Instagram, and what else oh, you got? Nice uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, our just 
normal email address. Sacredleaf.net. Check that out. Lots of delicious products on there. Like, I think you actually have edibles on there, right? Don't you have oh, actually yeah. uh, actual candy, candy, bro? Food that is actually real. Let me know when you get that cotton candy. So, uh, for mm. this night, uh, I'm going to do something a little out of the ordinary and try to really draw this out while I'm trying to get this music synced up. So, for, can you deliver by mail? Oh, that's a good question. Wait, actually, you know what? I was trying to wrap it up, but. I got another question. Now that Florida is medical marijuana, like, you know, there's legal s- stuff here. We can, you know, you know, buy legal marijuana now with the prescription card. If we, if we need it, you know, if we're sick or something. Mm-hmm. Some people got some PTSD. Some do, some don't. Going to that beach ride. Eating the mellow out on your only day off after struggling hard. With but yeah, kids. back and forth, so... Is that is that legal or it is not legal. Is it never gonna be legal? Until it becomes legal federally, then it will be illegal. It will be to transport state to state. Yeah, it's gotta be all within So all your clientele is in California. Even, or, even Oregon and California. They don't they don't even mix like that. Do you have any intentions in uh bringing the business uh back to your home state of Florida? Absolutely. We're Absolutely. In the works of that as we speak. Oh, well, that's that's good. All right, well, bam, music. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I, I, I thought that was going to be a lot lower. I guess this machine is a little higher. Right now. <laughs> as are we. <laughs> there we go. So, for uh, you know, Frank Moody and uh, Jeremy Suarez uh, of the Sacred Leaf Medical Marijuana Delivery Service. It's just so fucking crazy <laughs> that I can say that. Uh, give us a shout out on our Twitters and s- tell us you're listening to the show. Because that would be cool. See ya.